What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your friendly neighborhood reseller here, Dana, and uh, we're going to get started. Ah! Just joking. Hopefully some of you know who I was uh, imitating there. Uh, but anyways, if not, inside joke to those people, if they see it. Uh, Dana here, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Dana, and uh, I'm a reseller. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, all that fun stuff. Uh, and uh, today's going to be a quick what sold video. Uh, I didn't do one on Wednesday because I put out my 500 subscriber giveaway video. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, there's going to be a link down in the description. Uh, you could go uh, check out the video, and uh, I'm giving away 400 bucks to a subscriber, so uh, go check it out. And uh, after this video, watch this whole video first, please. Uh, but then go check that one out and uh, uh, enter to win. And uh, there's an affiliate link. I'll leave the affiliate link in this uh, video too. And if you sign up for it, you get two free shares of stock. And uh, um, anyways, it's just a, a fun video uh, that I'm trying to give back to you guys for helping me hit 500 subscribers. So anyways, uh, before we get into what's sold, I'll talk about real quick um, the giveaway video and just the uh, scammers that come out of the woodworks. And uh, I actually had some people messaging me on Instagram and they were like, oh my gosh, this is urgent. You have to contact me. And uh, I accepted the message and I was like, okay, um, what's going on? And they're like, you're being scammed on uh, YouTube. And uh, I said, I'm being scammed. What's going on? And they listed off like 50 different names uh, of people who had entered the contest uh, for the giveaway and uh, that they were basically bot accounts. And uh, so there's from overseas and they subscribe to all the same channels and they're all channels that are doing giveaways. So they're just going through YouTube and, and commenting on all the giveaway uh, videos trying to win whatever the prize is. And uh, I don't know if that's necessarily a scam. It's just kind of, you know, it sucks because the point of a giveaway video uh, is, well, yes, it is to get new subscribers. So hopefully there's some people who are watching because like 60% of you uh, who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if I'm at 500 subscribers and 60% are not subscribed, there's, I'd be at a thousand subscribers by now. And uh, that's really, you know, one of the, the big goals that everybody wants to do is can I get to a thousand subscribers? So if y'all who are watching just subscribed, uh, I'd be at a thousand subscribers right now. It's not trying to get bot accounts. I don't want fake accounts to be a subscriber. That's stupid, right? That's not the point. The point is to get real people uh, like you who are interested in content for reselling, uh, investing that I'm going to start doing a little bit more of, uh, just kind of mixed into the channel. And uh, I shot a really cool video on that yesterday, which I'll probably put up tomorrow, depending on how the order of these all shakes out. Um, but I did a poll on Instagram and I asked uh, the viewers on Instagram at Dana Invests uh, if they would like to see a sourcing video today or if they'd like to see uh, a what sold video and what sold one. So we are putting out a what sold video today. And then, like I said, probably tomorrow, if not Sunday, I'll get out that sourcing video. So anyways, what do you think? Am I being scammed? Um, I I decided that if I went through and I saw that they were somebody who was commenting on it just for the sake of winning the contest of like they have no interest in reselling. They are not a real subscriber. Uh, I was going to exclude them from this. So if you're a scammer and you're watching this, they're not going to watch this because they only watch the giveaway video. Uh, I'm going to delete your comment and you're not going to be included. So only real people are going to be considered for this. So again, if you haven't uh, entered in it, Right now, you're only competing against like 30 people uh, who are real and in that one. So anyways, uh, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble for a little bit. Uh, I have everything packed and shipped. You can see some of it over here uh, for today's orders. And uh, I didn't do a Wednesday what sold video because I did the 500 subscriber giveaway video that day. And uh, I didn't want to like over... Uh, do my welcome with too many uh, videos at the same time. So uh, I let that one uh, roll. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the computer and I'm not going to show you everything that sold. I'll give you a total for what sold on eBay um, for the last week. But what I'm going to do is just show you the highlights of the uh, big dollar things or the biggest dollar or the most exciting things that sold on eBay. And then I'll also show you uh, some stuff that sold on Mercari, some stuff that sold on uh, Poshmark, and uh, we'll go from there. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let's do it. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I have 19 orders that I'm going to show you today. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to show you the most uh, exciting ones uh, of what I sold. Uh, I think there was 29 items or 30 items that sold. Um, but anything that wasn't uh, at least 25 bucks or whatever, I figured I would uh, not bother you with, at least for today. If you want to see everything, comment down below and let me know you'd still rather see every single thing, uh, even if it means a longer video. So I'm trying to keep this uh, to the point so I can get it edited and uh, I can get on to uh, editing that sourcing video from yesterday. So it's actually going to start a new series that I'm doing, but I ex I'll explain it on that one. Uh, anyways, let's see, Poshmark, uh, I sold these uh, Sakanese um, size 12. Uh, I got these at Goodwill and uh, I paid basically six bucks for these. They sold for uh, $45 on a best offer. Um, I had them listed, I believe, at 59 and uh, I wanted to just get some money moving from the sales and uh, so I did that. On Mercari, I sold these Timberlands. Uh, I paid $3 for these at a yard sale, and you can see, well, maybe you can't see because I'm too big. Where's that? There we go. Uh, $32 uh, plus shipping uh, on Mercari. So, see the photos there, show the tag, etc., etc. Uh, the next things on Mercari, sold these New Balance uh, size 12 men's black and gum. And I actually debated keeping these for myself because they looked like brand new. And I don't know if you can really tell from the pictures, um, but man, they were in fantastic shape. You can even see like on the bottom here, uh, looked like they had never been worn. So uh, anyways, $45 uh, free shipping on these. New Balance aren't worth a whole ton, or at least this style wasn't worth a whole ton. And uh, on eBay, they had only gotten like 12 views, and that was at a uh, promoted listing. And uh, so I figured I would uh, work a deal with this guy. Sold those for 45 and I believe I paid about 6 bucks uh, for those at a Goodwill. I sold this Ducks Unlimited hat. I paid $2 for this at an estate sale. And I uh, sold it for $21.99 free shipping. Uh, I actually listed it for $19.99 and it got three watchers. So I raised it to $21.99 and it sold uh, about a day or two after that. So again, I've told you before and I'm gonna tell you again, if you get a bunch of watchers on something that you just put up, do not send an offer. Do not send them a freaking offer. Raise the price. Because some of them's gonna say, oh man, uh, they're realizing what they got or there's going to be more watchers. I don't want to lose it and they're just going to go ahead and buy it. So uh, I was happy with that. $21.99 uh, from $2 and it cost me $3 and change to ship that out. And uh, just a super cool embroidered uh, thing here. And uh, I knew it would sell well when I got it. I uh, paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Uh, maybe it was an estate sale, uh, but either way it was a dollar. And uh, sold for $24.99, free shipping, just a Yamaha remote. And I wasn't sure which one it was. There was no model number on this thing anywhere. Uh, so I used Google Lens. Uh, I have a short on using Google Lens uh, back in my videos uh, if you want to see more about that. But uh, tested it, everything worked great, and uh, sold for $24.99. Picked these up for $3 at a yard sale on two Saturdays ago. And uh, these ended up selling for $29.99 plus shipping. These go into a padded flat rate envelope. And uh, these were the Lawman Western jeans. And uh, I got a couple different Western jeans uh, and uh, a couple just random other jeans. And uh, I paid um, basically $3 for the Western jeans and I paid a dollar a piece for the other ones. So three bucks in, 30 bucks out, uh, plus shipping. Uh, I bought this at an estate sale the other day. It is just a refrigerator water filter. Any new refrigerator water filter that you can find for a buck or two, you should always buy because uh, somebody's going to need it. And uh, this sold for $30 free shipping. And uh, the shipping cost me uh, $9.52. So, you know, I'm not making a ton of money on this, but I paid $2 for it at an estate sale. Uh, this one is actually two. So you can see three sold, but one buyer bought two of them. Is a Jim Shore cat, and uh, this guy, can you see, I just pictured it all the way around, and then the bottom of the box, so you can see the tag is a little funky. Uh, I pictured the worst tag, since I had three of them, I just pictured the ugliest one, so if they got one and it had a better tag, that they wouldn't complain about it. So don't picture the pretty tag if you've got three 
uh, picture the ugliest one, and then that way they know they're getting that or something better. And uh, so anyways, they bought two of them, 50 bucks, free shipping, and uh, it actually saved me money because it's it only cost me like an extra dollar to send the second one than it would have cost me to send one. So happy with that. Sold a Seahawks. Seahawks are uh, the big number 12. Fan is a big thing. And I got two of these at an estate sale for two bucks a piece. Uh, no, mm, I'm forgetting what I paid for these. I think I paid five bucks a piece. I think I paid 10 for the pair. That's what it was. They wanted 10 a piece. I paid 10 for the pair. So I paid five bucks for this one. I was uh, reading a note. Uh, I've got some notes right off on the side here to uh, keep me. Uh, Right. So anyways, it sold for $29.99 plus $8.99 shipping. Uh, and this went uh, first class. So I had it set up to uh, worst case hit in a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, but it went first class. So it was about 6 bucks and 5 bucks in. Sold this putter uh, for $39.99. Uh, I paid a dollar for this at uh, an estate sale. And uh, I got a whole bunch of clubs for a buck a piece. And uh, none of them are really that exciting. Uh, but this one's all $39.99, free shipping, and they just go into a uh, medium mailing tube, like one of these. This is a different golf club, um, but they just go in right here, and uh, hopefully you can see it on there. They fit right in, and uh, that's actually two golf clubs in that one. Uh, we'll talk about that one in a minute. But anyways, sold some Hoka's. Uh, these are the Challenger ATR5s. I picked these up at Goodwill and I paid six bucks for these after the discount. Uh, and uh, they sold for $38 plus shipping. I had them listed for $46.99 or something like that. And uh, I had a few watchers, but uh, nobody had made an offer. These ones I got an offer and I let it ride for like eight hours. Eight hours I let this off ride to see that if one of the other watchers was going to send me an offer better, uh, and they did not, and uh, I decided to counter. They countered, or they their original offer was $35. I countered them at $39.99. They countered back at $38, and I decided to just take it uh, because my buy cost was so low on these. So I have a print head, and uh, so here's a fun fact for you. Shout out, Tim. Um, if you have a print head and it's defective, even if it's defective, you can still sell it for a bunch of money. So I picked this printer up for $8 at a Savers, and uh, you can see on here for parts or not working. So this is uh, like a $90 unit if it's working, and it still sold for $49.99 not working, uh, because chances are it actually does work, but I had sold it, and the buyer returned it, said it didn't work for them. And the trick with selling used print heads, there's a lot of them that the print ink will dry up a little bit and that even if you've cleaned it perfectly, if there was just a little bit that dried in there funky, it may need to be cleaned again once they put their new ink cartridges in it and then that's gonna cause it to malfunction. So whatever, I didn't wanna deal with it. I'm just gonna assume that it didn't work, period. And uh, so I had them send it back for a full refund uh, and then I relisted it for parts are not working for 50 bucks and it sold. So I still made money. So the for those of you who see those printers and you say, I'm not going to buy it if it still has that uh, defective print head, like if you plug it in to test it and the screen pops up, uh, print head error or something like that, it's still worth money. You could still sell that print head for 50 bucks. Uh, sold this Garmin. It is a, a GSC-10 wireless speed and cadence sensor. Uh, it connects to the bike and uh, gives them tracking information basically for uh, how they're doing. And uh, this guy sent me an offer of $55. Uh, it doesn't show on here because I sent the offer to him. He sent me a message and said, would you take $55 because I did not have best offer on. Uh, on this one and so I sent him when somebody sends you a message like that you can reply or you can reply with offer so I replied with offer for the 55 he accepted this sold for $55 uh, oh I didn't tell you what I paid for that I paid six dollars for that uh, at a church thrift store so uh, that's what I paid for that uh, I paid three dollars for this Michigan University uh, pillow and uh, it sold for $59.99 this one actually sold this morning and uh, it's kind of cool it's just got all the little details of the uh, college and stuff on there so you can see Clements Library Power Center um, Yost Ice Cream Arena um, something else just sold on eBay um, 
Anyways, I paid three dollars. It sold for sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for a freaking pillow. That's awesome. These are the two uh, golf clubs that are in that one that I just showed you. Uh, this guy said that uh, the dimensions apparently, or the weight that I had input, eBay showed him that it was going to be forty-five dollars to ship these clubs to him. So it was. Uh, they were listed at $49.99, and uh, he was like, I'm not paying $100 for those. What's the best you'll do, including shipping? And uh, so I said, I'll, I'll do $60, because I didn't figure it would cost that much to ship. Uh, it cost $11 to ship these things, and uh, he... So basically what we did is we accepted, I told him to send me an offer of 40 and then I would send him an invoice with $20 in shipping on it because I knew it wouldn't cost me more than 20 bucks. And uh, so it shows 40 here, but it was $60 total is what these sold for. And uh, I paid $2 a piece for these at a um, Society of Vincent de Paul uh, thrift store and uh, happy with that. Sold these... Something else just sold on eBay. Man, I'm on fire. Uh, love it. Uh, these uh, 2005 to 2018 F250 uh, center caps. They're the little hub caps for um, the trucks. Uh, these were brand new. Just package had some tears in it. Had the model number on it uh, for 4x4. And uh, you see the weird white background go away. Burr, 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 burr. Anyways, these sold for $79.99 free shipping. I paid 5 bucks for these at a yard sale. Uh, they were asking 20 for them. And I was like, mm, that's a little much. Would you take 5? And they said, okay, fine, we'll take 5. So every time I hear... I, let me just reference this right now. And completely off topic but it's in my brain and I see it all the time I watch a whole bunch of resellers uh, on YouTube and uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of you do too and you'll hear a lot of them say they were asking too much so I didn't buy it or they were asking too much I left it behind and I think I've honestly said that in one or two of my videos and that's a that's a cop-out do not ever accept that you can't buy something because it's priced too high period if it's at a yard sale you can offer them anything you want if they're asking a hundred dollars offer them a dollar doesn't matter if it's worth a dollar to you offer them a dollar and you say oh i thought that was a i thought that was a typo you really want a hundred dollars for that um like this one it was 20 bucks they were asking for it was it worth 20 bucks yeah i still probably would have well i definitely would have made money because this was like 13 dollars to ship but um would I have made money even at $20? Yeah, I still would have made money at $20. But it was worth $5 to me for the risk of what if it doesn't sell, right? So for anybody who thinks I'm being cheap to those people or something like that, it's not that that I'm being cheap. I have thousands of dollars tied up in inventory right now. Some of that inventory is never going to sell, right? So you can't always pay up for items. Sometimes you have to get items cheap. And if they don't sell, they don't sell. Or if they do sell, awesome, you made a whole bunch of money, but you still have to photo the items, you still have to list the items, you still have to store the items in your house, you have to buy the shipping supplies, the bubble wrap, the tape, right? That stuff isn't cheap, and uh, your time's not cheap, right? My time is worth more than $20 to buy these things. My time was worth five bucks to buy these things, to make it worth my time, and uh, anyway, so just don't accept that cop out. Doesn't matter what they're asking. They're asking 50 bucks and you wanna offer 20, offer 20. And uh, if you're embarrassed to offer 20, then you probably shouldn't be a reseller. Just, to, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Just, you have to step out of your comfort zone and uh, take risks. Anyways, uh, I paid a dollar a piece for these at an estate sale. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody by that. If I offended you by that, uh, I apologize, but at the same time, um, grow up. And uh, if you think I'm right on that, leave a comment down below uh, that you agree. So anyways, paid a dollar for these uh, each at an estate sale and I bought, uh, there was two of these and then I, there was a, some face washes and some other things. And uh, these, I listed them at 75 because that's kind of the high end of where the comps were. They hadn't sold so I ended up putting them down to $59.99 and they sold uh, within a few days. So $59.99 times two and then you can see I had sold one higher. I sold one when it was up at 75 and then I told these uh, two at $59.99 and I paid a buck a piece for them. So very, very happy with that. So this Escort Passport Radar Detector, it is the uh, blue model. I might have showed this in the uh, Monday video, uh, but I don't remember, so I'm going to put it on this one anyways, because this is just my uh, total uh, for the week. And I, know, I know I excluded any other ones that were for Monday. Uh, but anyways, this sold for 200 bucks, and I paid $20 for this at Goodwill. And then the uh, highest priced item that I sold for the week was this Sanyo 
uh, DVD recorder with remote and uh, $249.99, but I sent them an offer of $225.99 and they accepted, or $224.99 and they accepted. So it shows $249 here, but it was $225. And uh, you can see something I do, again, I'm just trying to share tips and tricks with you guys so that you can uh, do the same. And hopefully you don't because I would like to be the only one in the market that sells this uh, awesome stuff. But if you look at this picture and you see it's got a VHS, it's got some two DVD recorders, it's got the AV cables, it's got the remote, it's got the manual. Like, man, that is a sexy picture. And uh, if you're looking at that versus one that does not have that, mine is gonna stand out way more, even if it's 50 or $60 more. Even if it's 50 or $60 more, I charge way more than anybody else. Uh, and I think I get better sales because I have better pictures because I have uh, more stuff that's included with it and uh, I do free shipping. So uh, I know for a fact it does not cost very much. This one cost, I sent it UPS ground um, or FedEx, I think is what I did on it. So it didn't take forever, but anyways, cost me $13 to ship this thing. So I'm uh, very, very happy with that. And uh, I paid, these were 12 49 at Goodwill, but it was 20% off. Um, so whatever that is, I'll put it up on the screen for what my buy cost was on this, 1249 minus 20%. And there was actually two of them. There was two of them at the uh, thrift store that same day. Tested them both, they recorded DVDs perfectly, and uh, I was very happy with that. And then uh, you can just see my total here. So this is for the whole week. Uh, was 1487.03 is where I'm at right now. Uh, so obviously anything that sells today on Friday through uh, Sunday will be added to this total. I, I shoot for at least $2,000 a week. I wanna get more. Um, so I need another 500 bucks over the weekend to hit that $2,000 a week. And uh, really I try to get more than that because I try and cash out uh, every Thursday. Basically what I do on mine is I leave my money in the bank account so I let it all transfer to one bank account uh, my business bank account and then my goal is every Thursday to transfer $2,000 uh, to uh, my main account so where we pay all our bills and stuff from and then I take uh, at least a hundred dollars and I put it towards uh, investments uh, towards so basically my retirement account uh, with that money so that's kind of just what I do with mine and uh, the goal is like I said to have at least 2100 bucks in there uh, to be able to transfer and then still send some towards uh, that money and then uh, if I have any money sitting in PayPal I buy cryptocurrency with it because PayPal allows you buy cryptocurrency so if there's even if it's just 10 bucks in there I'll buy 10 bucks worth of Ethereum or I'll buy 10 bucks worth of Bitcoin and you know it, it does great or it doesn't either way uh, hopefully this was a fun what sold video for you hopefully there were some good bolos in there uh, for you guys to look out for when you're at the yard sales of the thrift stores uh, the estate sales all that fun stuff watch for my video uh, to come out for the sourcing and the new uh, series that I'm gonna run uh, and please check that out if you want to know about that kind of stuff uh, faster subscribe 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 and hit that bell notification so you know when I post that new content and uh, now that this video is over Go check out the 500 subscriber giveaway and enter to win. And uh, like I said, use the affiliate link in there and get yourself two free shares of stock. I forgot to put that in that freaking video. Uh, how, how dumb is that of me? I'm doing a giveaway and you could get two free shares of stock and start your investing journey. Uh, and I didn't even mention that. Didn't even mention it. Crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy sales. Peace.